Digital Diamond Baseball version 3 supports a brand new reporting engine. As shown here, there's a whole host of reports you can view, including the league standings and so on. Reports can be saved in either HTML or text format. They can be filtered by league or a particular division or even by a particular team. There's also ability to sort your reports and to change their options. For example, here's the league leaders in batting, league leaders in pitching, career leaders in batting and pitching, and here's the league of the batting statistics. I'm going to sort those by, let's see, how about batting average in descending order? I can even change the options and decide which columns I want to show, which columns I want to hide. I can even change the order of the columns. These options will be saved so that the report will remain uh, in this particular configuration even after I re restart the game. Also support league pitching statistics, a really neat transaction report, special events that have taken place, team batting and pitching. For team batting and pitching, because it's a team specific report, you can only change the team option. You can't do this by leagues and divisions. So you have to view these by team. This is true for all of our team reports uh, that are included in the game. The team batting comparison is a neat report that shows you the comparison of the real life statistics with the statistics that have been generated in simulation so far. We have that for batting and pitching. Here's the pitching comparison. There's also a player usage report that lets you monitor your player's usage. A team schedule report that shows your games that have been completed and the games that you still have to play. And you can sort this in different ways, which is pretty handy. For example, I want to see it's sorted by who won the game. I can check out my starting pitcher's wins. Do that with the starters log as well, which shows every game's who started. You sort that by starter, and you can see when a player has started a game. Team roster report, which shows your roster, including who's activated and unactivated, and who plays what position as their primary position. This is a handy thing to do when you're making your team profiles. Speaking of team profiles, we also have a team profile report. Players shown in red are players that happen to be in your profile but currently not active. I hope you enjoy this new feature.